I'm Joe. This is the Joe is Hungry channel. Today I'm at the Churches in Marietta, Georgia, and we're going to check out the brand new Churches Chicken Sandwich. Welcome to Churches. Yeah, you did. Cool. Could I get, could I get uh, three of the new chicken sandwiches? No drink. All uh, right, three chicken sandwiches. Anything else for you? No, sir. That's all I want. All right. If you can pull around to the window, I gotta restart my system. It just cut off. All righty. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Joe is hungry. I had to pull up and wait while they cooked these things fresh for me. Uh, so we'll go over a few details. The church's chicken sandwich consists of deep fried white meat chicken breast, hand breaded with proprietary home style seasoning, a touch of buttermilk, mayonnaise pickles on a toasted honey butter brushed brioche bun. Each one of these will set you back $3.99 before taxes in Georgia. You can also get them for $5.99 for a combo meal where you get a fries and a drink. You can also order it with spicy mayonnaise and jalapeno on the side for an extra kick. That's not going to happen here today because we all know that Joe don't like things that are hot. There you go, sir. Sweet. You guys have a nice day, alright? Alright, you take care. We've got our chicken sandwiches. Let's pull off to the side and do the Joe is Hungry temperature test. These things clock in at 187 blistering 0.3 degrees Fahrenheit. There can be little question that they cook these things to order, as they told me they did, and I appreciate it. A shout out goes to the churches here in Marietta, Georgia for taking the time to making my stuff special. I also want to give a shout out to everybody that supported the channel. We passed 2,000 subscribers a few days ago, and I appreciate your support, and I'm humbled that that many people would actually want to watch my videos. That being said, now it's time to head back to the studios in sunny Fairmount, Georgia and do the Joe is Hungry weight test. Now it's time to complete the Joe is Hungry weight test. And frankly, I'm actually kind of excited about this one. I think these are going to be pretty good. According to Church's own website, these things should weigh 230 grams or 8.1 ounces. I've bought three of these so I can check for consistency from Church's Chicken Sandwich 2. Church's Chicken Sandwich. Church's Chicken Sandwich number one weighs in at 8.9 ounces. Church's Sandwich number two weighs in at 8.3 ounces. Church's Sandwich number three weighs in at 8.00 ounces. And as a reminder, I have taken off for the package weight. In other words, I have actually set the tear. There's a little bit of uh, wide range in this consistency from sandwich to sandwich, but for the most part, they're all pretty close or slightly over their suggested serving weight, except for one. That being said, now it's time for the Joe is Hungry big reveal. I see it comes in a uh, foil line package. That's kind of Chick-fil-A-esque. This is what it looks like, and this is what it's supposed to look like. This is what it looks like, and this is what it's supposed to look like. This is what it looks like, and this is what it's supposed to look like. This thing is actually looking pretty darn good, which makes me want to move on to the final and very definitive test. It's called the Joe is Hungry Bite Test. So that means what? It's 
bite test, engage time. Not a bad sandwich, not a bad value for four bucks. You really can't uh, go too wrong on this one. The brioche bun holds up really well. It doesn't melt after you've been carrying it around for a while. It's a very meaty breast. I hate to show you food bites, but uh, it's a pretty thick hunk of meat. Breading is still crunchy when I eat it. The pickles I can barely taste. On the flip side, it's a little bit under seasoned. It could be a little saltier, have more of a butter-like taste on it. This one sort of puts me in mind of the Popeye's chicken sandwich. It's got the same girth and the same kind of flavoring profile. I really don't have a lot of things bad to say about this sandwich. It's just not knocking my socks off for flavor. I think it, it seems like it's lacking something. I guess it's time to try to come up with a score. If y'all don't know my score, my score is one to 10, nine being the best. Anything above nine is a once in a lifetime experience and it only has been achieved three times since I've been doing videos with this scale and no one has ever made a 10. You can see the scale up on the screen and in the description below. I'm gonna have to go with a uh, 7.4. Could have had a little more spices, would have brought it up some, maybe a little bit of butter to go with that mayonnaise, would have added a dimension of flavor that this thing lacks. That's my review. If you found this interesting, if you found this useful, subscribe to the channel, support the channel, and we will see you in the next video. I believe we're hanging on, desperate for the things that we should never want.